Listen Different with Podcast 411, the podcast that brings you the 411 on podcasts, podcasters, and podcasting. Welcome to the May 14th show. I'm your host, Rob, and this is the Podcast 411 podcast. On today's show, our guests will be Soccer Girl and Ryan P. from the Soccer Girl Incorporated podcast. A couple quick notes before the interview. First, as you may remember, my DVD player and VCR was stolen, misplaced, not delivered in the move. And I received a check this week from the moving company. $36 was the check. It was quickly ripped up. I informed the moving company that $1,000 worth of audio and video equipment is not worth a $36 check. And since they didn't deliver them, I don't consider the move complete. So I guess this one's going to court, folks. On the website side, don't forget to uh, visit www.podcast411.com. Check out our tutorials page. Don't forget to check out our jobs page, our podcasting jobs page. Very interesting how many new jobs are coming out with podcasting somewhere in the description. We are now past the uh, lunatic fringe and most of the way through the early adopter phase and coming close to that growth phase. Um, podcasting is becoming more mainstream. If you do a search on uh, Monster, you do a search on Career Builder, you will find some jobs now with podcasts somewhere in the description. That's enough on the website. We're going to go ahead and get right into the interview with Soccer Girl and Ryan P. Here we go. Soccer Girl and Ryan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> and I'll start you out with the traditional first question, and that is, what was your first computer? Do you want to go first? Well, my family's first computer was a Sanyo. I can't remember the model number or anything, but we got it in about 1981, and it had a green screen monitor. His family was really, like, advanced, didn't they? Didn't your dad get, like, one of the first, like, portable phones? Well, not one of the first, but definitely pretty early enough. Huge, heavy one. But yeah, the, the Sanyo computer was advertised as a portable computer, which was totally ridiculous, which just basically meant that it wasn't the size of a room, you know, it was the size of a uh, regular uh, desktop computer. Was it, well, okay. Well, how old do you have? Well, why don't you go ahead? Okay, okay sorry. I'm used to just doing the show with you. Um, well, you know, honestly, I don't even remember what our first computer was. My family wasn't really into the computer. Computers as such. We had a typewriter for a really long time. I had to, like, when I first had to type my papers when I was in elementary school, like, fifth grade or whatever, I had to type on a typewriter. It was really embarrassing. But I remember when I was, like, 11, we got uh, a Mac Classic, which uh, I just totally loved. And that, I totally, that was a great machine. Oh, man. I had it. I brought it to college with me. Like, I had it for so many years. I, I miss it. It broke finally. But it lasted forever, and it was very cool. So, yeah. <laughs> now, the next question I probably know the answer to, but I'll ask it anyway, and that is, what was the first podcast you listened to? Don and Drew, for sure. Yep, me too, Don and Drew. <laughs> but quickly followed by PK and J, actually. Okay. So, yeah, so two really awesome introductions into the world of podcasting, and both of which we, we still listen to all the time. Now, what other podcasts are you listening to today? Well, I listen to a bunch. What do you listen to, man? Well, yeah, I do listen to the Daily, Daily Source Code almost every day, well, when it comes out. Uh, let's see. Well, not very daily anymore. No, it's no. more like the every now and then Source Code. <laughs> <laughs> but he but, even uh, said that in the other uh, two ago. Yeah, I, think he I heard that. Exactly. Yeah. I actually, I just heard one today for the first time that I liked. It was called Technical Difficulties. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't know that's that. a new one for me. I'll have to check that out. Thank you. It, it's, it's out of Minnesota, and uh, it's a really well-produced sort of like comedy type show with like skit type things going on. It was uh, pretty funny. I am. Um, I just well, I've gotten to know a bunch of people just from, you know, getting my promo played places and you know, like exchanging links and stuff. But um, this guy, Bo he has this awesome podcast you probably know it's called Old Time Radio um, which I totally love I've heard the name Botar I have not heard his podcast okay Old Time Radio Old Time Radio yeah it's really good it's like all legit radio shows from like the early 1900s oh, okay you know why I heard that he had a promo I think it was on the Daily oh, Source, the Daily Source Code. Code he said yeah because he didn't have, think he'd have to worry about any of the, the copyright oh, right. yep yeah because it was in that it was yeah. something he was playing from real long time ago Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I just have a soft spot for him because he sent he sent us a 
our first present. He sent us a bottle of wine, and it was called Chicken Blood, and we did a show about it. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I dig that. And I also really like the Simeon Syndicate, which uh, is really new, and those guys are really sweet to me. And um, I've only listened, I guess I've listened to two of their shows. They're musicians, and so they play a lot of good music and stuff. Tell our listeners about the format and content of your podcast. Okay. Um, well, it's evolving. It's kind of a work in progress at the moment. I'm sort of, um, I get really inspired to do stuff, and I sort of just jump into it. So there's a lot of there are a lot of sort of features of it that are working themselves out. Um, but it seems to be getting more structured as we go. Basically, it's just, it's a comedy. But it's also, I mean, it's, it's a little bit political. I mean, obviously, I'm very comfortable with nudity, and I am very sort of, you know, attached to my sexuality. And my and my freedom to be I'm also practice. attached to her <laughs> Yeah, Ryan, life must suck for you. <laughs> yeah, oh God, it sure does. <laughs> but you know, we have a really eventful kind of sexual life together, and and I'm really happy about it. And I feel like it, you know the taboo that surrounds sexuality, especially female sexuality, is just silly and it's unacceptable. And I don't think that there's any reason why I shouldn't feel comfortable putting myself out there. So of course, that's a lot of what what it is, but it's also just raunchy and silly, and obviously, you know, Ryan's stories play a, a large role in the yeah, format of the show. All the stories are about number two, Ryan. you got to come up with... Oh, God, I, I know. I, I, I really, I really <laughs> hesitated to tell that second one, because I don't want to get typecast as that guy. <laughs> I, I promise the next one will have nothing to do with uh, toilets. Or you can't toilet. promise that, right? <laughs> I, I felt so bad for you on, on the one when you were in the trip when you were 12, because... Oh, yeah. I, I, one time, I had had the, the runs and I was playing rugby and oh and, no and you don't come oh. out and I was out there every time I take a step it was like oh, oh, oh god. my god that's yeah. horrible oh the squishing oh, oh okay okay yeah. <laughs> yeah it was bad oh that's awful that's I'm sorry it's really bad god thank god I've never had an experience like that and I'm from the woods uh, it, it's, it's when, when it hits uh, there's nothing you can do about it it's true it's true <laughs> I mean yeah I was physically trying to hold my butt cheeks together with <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well, try tackling a guy that's 200 pounds oh, running at you. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Was it at least like a muddy day? So you can like, <laughs> pretend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. I'm sorry for both of <laughs> oh, Anyway. So, yeah, the show is, it's, uh, you know, a mishmash of our various, um, whatever, things we want to say, but also just kind of about our... Uh, our interests. I mean, there's a lot about other podcasts and, and political things that we're interested in, and Ryan's always got a, a little tidbit or two about some sort of, you know, going on somewhere in the world. He reads the paper every day, so that's helpful. Also, I, I think one of the things I like about the show is that while it does have a lot to do with with sex and, you know, you know, you show your boobs on the website and everything, which I think is yeah. great, and obviously a lot of other people do too. <laughs> but, you know, it's not just by any means just like a porno show, you know. Right. It's got some actual, like, quasi-serious type stuff, funny stuff, you know. Well, I think it's just, I mean, I think it's a, a microcosm of, like, our lives anyway. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're sexual and sexy people, and we like that, but also we're not one-dimensional. You know? Right. And so I think we're just trying to make the show reflect those things, you know. Okay. Now, what made you choose to want to do a podcast? Was it from listening to Don and Drew and, and PK and J and other shows? Yeah. I mean, Ryan introduced me to it. He discovered it uh, long before I did. And I just, I mean, I, I've done, I do a lot of weird creative projects, and I always have, and I think that I've been really for a long time searching for a medium that incorporates a lot of the different things I'm into. Like, I'm a writer. I got my degree in writing in school, and I also really enjoy um, you know, web designing and and different kinds of weird crafty things and acting and singing, you know, all kinds of stuff. And and this medium is so appropriate for for everything. You kind of have to be a Renaissance person in order to to even get your stuff out there, you know. So that was really attractive to me. Plus, just listening to people like us, you know, making and getting listeners and getting listened to. I mean, that's pretty exciting. I mean, I, I remember thinking the first time I ever heard the Don and Drew show, like, 
yeah. oh my god this, it feels like you know we're sitting around with two of our friends yeah. and, like, <laughs> like listening to them bullshit you know <laughs> like their sort of sensibility in that way was very attractive and very comfortable and so yeah. you know it was all all soccer girl by the way and you know you obviously said my name. getting the podcast organized but you know uh, I feel very comfortable when I do join her because I feel like you know we're just sitting around talking we would be doing that anyway right exactly yeah. we're just recording it for mm-hmm. the benefit of others it's also a great community like I really wanted to be part of part of it from that standpoint too I mean as a listener like I I just love the forums and, and just chatting with people and it's an incredible community and there's so many people who are really supportive of each other and helpful and kind and you know interesting and it's just I think kind of a gold mine you know okay speaking of forums and people that are helpful in kind. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on Mr. Yeah. Yaz Lorino from Bib and Yaz? <laughs> yeah, on the other hand, um, of course there are always going to be those guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, all I can say is that at first it really hurt my feelings and I sort of was like, why are you guys attacking me? Stop it. Leave me alone. I'm a nice person, you know? But but then I sort of realized that maybe maybe they kind of think I'm cheating or something, you know, by, by showing my boobs and I'm like, it's like a, a an up that like a way to a way to like climb the podcast ladder or whatever that they don't have or something. So therefore, I suck because you know I I, I have that and they don't. I don't know. I mean, they just been really like aggressive and angry in general, and I think it, it was just a convenient uh, place for them to project it. You know. Well, I think Yaz will kill me for saying this, but don't take Yaz too seriously. I mean, he attacks everybody. So don't take it as a personal attack. Yeah, that's the other thing I, I realized after the initial, like, you know, sort of shock of the whole thing. I sort of, like, looked at some other forums. <laughs> like, you know, I stopped feeling so singled out. So, yeah, you know, whatever. There are people who are not going to like what we do. It's fine. I actually created a forum board on my website that's called the Yaz Bash Board. It's a place for people to come in and bash Yaz or Yaz to bash <laughs> them. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, a place like that definitely needs to exist. Right on. Yeah, I said it's unmoderated. What I did was I, I, I edit some of the words. So if you use the F word, it'll come out as fuzzy bunny and a few other <laughs> things you can do with the word censors just to piss him off. <laughs> so the first post he put up is like, oh, this fuzzy bunny. What is this fuzzy bunny? That's, that's hilarious. What a great. <laughs> so he's always trying to come up with different ways to spell it. So I have to go into my word censor to censor out the different curse Aww. words. That's that cute. That makes me like him more. Go on the forum and bash him a little on it. <laughs> Give him a little tit for tat. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't have that effect built in. Uh, <laughs> See, that's what really sucks is Paul is a, is an audio engineer. So if you, want, yeah. that, if you yeah. want to know why PK and J sound so good, Paul is yeah. the guy of all the podcasters. Probably, Paul probably knows more about audio engineering than anybody else. Yeah, definitely. I don't, I've always noticed that the PK and J show sounds as though they're, you know, in an actual radio studio and, you know, it's totally edited and everything in, in the most yeah. professional way. Yeah, that was kind of, for a short time, there was definitely at least one day, it was like one of our earliest shows that I was editing it and I was having the hardest time and it just sounded like shh. And I, and like, I just listened to the PK and J show and I was just feeling like, you know, why can't I do it? But yeah, but then I realized that Because they they're not doing it with, like, you know, on a power book with no other equipment. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's doing it with the best equipment. And, uh, and, I, and I always say to Paul, my goal is to get my audio quality to the point where he's happy with it. Not where I'm uh-huh. happy with it, but where he's right. happy with it. Because when Paul right. says, hey, that sound, that podcast sounded good, then I'll know I've, mm-hmm. I've arrived. <laughs> yeah, one of the people I was thought, saying I was going to have you on, they go, do, you know, do they know yours is a friendly, family-friendly podcast? I go, that's what editing's for. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talk about other stuff. I mean, See, I, that, that'll be important. I was going to say, I had Tim Henson on, and, and Tim's got a mouth on him, too, if you've ever listened to uh, The Distorted, Distorted View. Distorted View, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. I love that show. That is so funny. It's, it, it is really, I mean, I don't know if you listened to today's, but it's a... I haven't, no. Oh, it's about, uh, the, one of the news is, is that these penguins are getting chlamydia at the San Francisco Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Enough yeah. said there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did they get it from humans? <laughs> Well, that's what like, Tim was thinking. 
<laughs> you have to listen. <laughs> oh, I will. Don't worry. That's a that's a glowing recommendation right there. <laughs> Penguin Chlamydia, definitely in the game. Good name for like a heavy metal band. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> or a podcast. Yeah, I was yeah. just going to say Penguin, Penguin Chlamydia. You got Twisted Pickle, Penguin Chlamydia. Uh huh. Oh, God. Uh, say that five times fast, though. It wouldn't be family friendly if I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the questions I ask here is, what is the most memorable email or feedback you've received since you started your podcast? I imagine you've gotten some pretty interesting feedback. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've definitely gotten a lot of male genitalia pictures, which, uh, you know, is fine. It's wonderful. A little weird when it's disembodied. Okay. But um, here's what you're <laughs> Wait, wait, here's what you need to do. I'll probably edit this out. Maybe I won't. Send those pictures to Yaz. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. To no end. <laughs> what a fantastic idea. I absolutely will. Thank you for that. I will. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of odd. I've gotten, I've got recently my first really sexy woman picture, though, which totally rocked. And, uh, yeah, she's totally hot. Yeah, she's totally hot. Uh, Ryan and I drooled over that for a while. It was really exciting. I got I got an awesome email from this guy in uh in Alaska who's an engineering student and he was just like very sincere and very like complimentary and sweet. You know, I don't know, I just really appreciated that one. It was a, like a long letter so it kinda touched me, you know. And I'm thinking the only picture I got was from Socialist Steve where he'd be jamming on his guitar. <laughs> oh, well, that's sweet, too. <laughs> well, you just have to talk about, I mean, you can't have a family-friendly podcast and assume that your hope to get naked pictures. No, but you people can at least it. send me pictures of their first computer if they still have it. That's true. That, that's true. But we don't. No, long ago. <laughs> I actually don't have my first computer, but I have my second computer still. Which is what? My Atari 800. I had a TRS-80 oh. color to start with. Then I went to an Atari 800, and I still have the Atari 800. Cool, man. I still still work. Work. Yeah, it still works. Before we forget, uh, tell our listeners where to locate your podcast and website. Okay. Um, it's at SoccerGirlIncorporated.com. You can, the, the feed is SoccerGirlIncorporated.com slash S-G-I-N-C dot X-M-L. Or you can call listener comment line, which is 206 600 x There you have it. Okay. <laughs> How often are you looking at releasing podcasts? I guess we've been doing, well, I, at least I've been doing like three a week so far, something like that, averaging around three a week, which is like so much work, but um, but I'm finding that I'm so obsessive that I can't do less three weeks. <laughs> so I pretty much just record them as, as, you know, often as I feel like it, which is really often. Um, and I hope to keep doing that if I can stand it. Stock girl, I've got to put you on the spot. Okay. All right. Jeanette from PK and J, Zima from the View from Here, or Dawn from the Dawn and Drew show. Who has the sexiest voice? Well, first I would say Jeanette, because damn, does she have a hot voice? Mm -hmm. Dawn's got a hot voice too, though. God, that's tough. I, I think Jeanette is probably my answer. Yeah. So, so Dawn is the close second. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, all of those are like top shelf voices. Yeah. So. Yeah, Jeanette's got the greatest laugh though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she's, she's got a really sexy yeah. laugh. Yeah. She's just really hot in general. I mean, from the small, tiny little picture on their website that I've seen, she mm -hmm. looks really hot. <laughs> I think. I love you, Jeanette. <laughs> I just sent them a picture of my boob recently. Yeah, I know she, they had mentioned that you were going to put PK and J on there, and then they were. Yep, I did. Anything else you'd like to say? Mention about um, your show? Um, guys, should I listen to it? It's awesome. <laughs> Um, well, surely there will be some new and exciting developments in upcoming shows and working on some some new features and working on the back casting idea. So it's definitely worth, worth uh, you know, keeping it on your radar, so to speak. And we'll pull out the podcast alley. Back to and I want to reassure everyone once again that the next time I'm on the show, I will not mention 
anything bathroom related. <laughs> Thanks so much for having us on the show. No problem. Ryan, Soccer Girl, thank you for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thanks. It's totally a pleasure. Have a blast. Well, folks, that concludes our interview with Soccer Girl and Ryan P. from the Soccer Girl Incorporated podcast. You can check out their podcast, and I highly recommend you do, at www.soccergirlincorporated.com. Ryan and Soccer Girl, thanks so much for being on the show. And if you out there would like to be on the show, please send an email or a promo to podcast411 at gmail.com. At the end of today's show, we're going to be playing a promo from Celebrity Vinyl Heaven Podcast. That's the Celebrity Vinyl Heaven Podcast. As always, this is Rob from Podcast 411, reminding you to listen different. Hi there. This is Greg from New York, inviting you to check out my podcast, Celebrity Vinyl Heaven. Celebrity Vinyl Heaven is the only podcast devoted to records made by your favorite TV and movie stars. People like William Shatner, Telly Savalas, Mr. T, and more. Whether you love them or you love to hate them, we always have a good time and a few surprises at CelebrityVinylHeaven.com. New shows every Tuesday and Thursday.